Welcome to the world of MCA DiscoVision. To begin playback of a disc, turn the player power on, place the disc on the spindle. Use the play button to start. This nonchalant fire alarm horn strobe straight out of the 1990s brings a lot more history to the table than meets the eye. Welcome to the, hopefully, complete history of the Gentex SHG series of notification appliances. It's this division that you be the boss. For the past several weeks leading up to the production of this video, I have spent a great deal of time researching this unique horn strobe lineup from Gentex. After watching as many videos of these devices as YouTube could provide, I have compiled what I believe to be the most complete version of the history of the Gentex SHG. You'll notice that in this video I'm going to make the argument that Gentex in fact released more than two generations of this horn strobe in response to changes in the National Fire Alarm Code, which is contrary to the established knowledge in our community. For this historical expose, I have managed to obtain two SHGs, one manufactured in September of 1997, the other manufactured in March of 1998. While six months may seem like a relatively short time period, a good deal of change was in store for the SHG. Cosmetically, both units are identical in appearance. In fact, these two SHGs are from the same model series, the 241575WR. Sporting a 1Hz 1575 Candela strobe, these units were and are still compatible with the minimum ADA requirements for visual signaling. Both units are wired in the same manner with options for two or four wire operation with the removal of two jumpers from the back of a circuit board. On the rear of these alarms is a removable plastic cover that reveals the internal circuitry. As the boards reveal, the 1997 model appears to be more electrically complex with a 555 timing circuit for the built-in march time coding option. In the common body of knowledge possessed by the members of the fire alarm community, the SHG is often noted to have two generations of products in the line. The first generation was introduced sometime in the early 1990s, with a source from Gentex reporting that the product line was first sold in 1994. However, this is seemingly incorrect. More on that later. Some models date back as far as 1992. These first SHGs played a higher pitched mechanical horn tone and had the march time coding option and did not have a metallic reflector behind the xenon strobe tube. This has commonly been referred to as the first generation of the SHG. In 1994, Gentex added a reflective surface behind the strobe to amplify the signal's output and made modifications to the plastic strobe lens to better disperse the light. This change was likely made to ensure compliance with visual signaling notification requirements established by the 1990 Americans with Disabilities Act, herein referred to as the ADA. At this point, the SHG still had the classic horn tone and the ability to self-code to march time. In 1998, Gentex made a major change to this lineup of horn strobes, which we considered to be the second generation of the series. At the time of the 1998 release, the SHG now had a lower-pitched simulated mechanical horn that rivaled the later Gentex Commander series of horn strobes. An auditory demonstration is in order, so let's take a listen. As you can hear, the new pitch of the SHG is stunningly similar to the mechanical horn tone of the Commander 2, 3, and 4, and is consequently often referred to as the Commander version of the SHG. At this time, the lineup ditched the march time coding ability and replaced it with a temporal coding function. This now allowed the SHG to self-code to temporal 3, and this was how the device would act when shipped from the factory. For context, in 1996, the American National Standards Institute and the National Fire Protection Association recommended that a standard evacuation pattern should be used to eliminate confusion upon the sounding of a fire alarm device. According to Wikipedia, quote, 
The pattern is uniform without regard to the sound used. I assume that the 1997 change to the SHG was intended to also further comply with later requirements set forth by NFPA 72. Eliminating the March time coding feature and replacing it with a temporal option would prevent an instance in which a new installation would be improperly coded. As I stated earlier, this new version of the SHG is what we often consider to be the second generation. However, I'm going to argue that this is in fact the third of three generations of this horn strobe series. Also mentioned earlier was my 1997 Gentex SHG. This particular unit was from a hybrid generation that acted as a transition from the old horn circuitry to the new design. What I mean by this is explained by this horn strobe. Manufactured September 11th of 1997, it features the march time coding option, but does so with the lower pitch commander style horn. Listen as I sound the 1997 SHG and showcase its rarer output. It was almost as though Gentex had been preparing a tonal change prior to a cadential change. Because of this, I have devised what I consider to be the proper generational classification model for the Gentex SHG, and it is as follows. Models manufactured prior to 1995 are considered the first generation. Models manufactured between 1995 and 1997 are considered to be the second generation. And models manufactured between 1998 and 2001 are considered the third generation. After consulting via email with Gentex, as well as other hobbyists with knowledge of the SHG, I feel that this alarming taxonomy is befitting for this estranged line of 1990s horn strokes. Of course, this is built in my unprofessional opinion, and I could be completely wrong. However, I believe that this structure better defines the transitionary phases through which these alarms pass to develop into the final version of the SHG that lasted until the series was discontinued in 2001. To better illustrate the changes over time, here is a timeline of the alterations that Gentex made to the SHG series over a period of approximately nine years. In what we believe to be 1992, the first SHGs were brought to market featuring a simulated mechanical horn tone, a non-reflective strobe body, and a March time self-coding feature. In 1995, the SHG strobe was modified to comply with ADA regulations by adding a reflective metallic piece behind the strobe tube. These devices continued to utilize the same audible notification circuitry from the previous revision of the horn. In 1997, Gentex began to make changes to the SHG's internal components to transition to the new lower tone horn, while still maintaining ADA compliance for visual notification and opting to retain this March time self-coding ability. Later, in 1998, Gentex released their final version of the SHG featuring the low-pitched Commander S horn tone, an ADA-compliant reflective strobe body, and a Temporal 3 self-coding feature that replaced the former March time feature. This would be the last time that any substantial changes took place. Finally, in 2001, the Gentex SHG was discontinued and later replaced by the subsequent Commander series of notification appliances. Later in this timeline around 1998, Gentex also released a Z variant of the SHG that had the ability to synchronize strobes using the Gentex Sync protocol. This subseries was only available in the 1575 Candela models. In more pertinence to this video specifically, I would like to discuss my correspondence with Gentex in the making of this project. I reached out to Gentex directly to obtain a copy of the installation manuals for this alarm and wound up learning a bit more than I anticipated. In my original email, I asked for the 550-103-1994 edition and the 550-155-1998 edition of the installation manuals. I was only able to obtain the later version, which notes that, quote, the model HG electronic horn is capable of operating either in a continuous or temporal mode. The horn is shipped from the factory in the temporal mode, but can be changed to the continuous mode, end quote. The absence of the 550-103 manual notwithstanding, I also inquired about when the SHG was released and discontinued and received this response. Quote, we started manufacturing this series in January of 1994 and it was discontinued in 2001. Knowing that a good friend of mine, the Blue CFL, has a 1992 SHG, I replied with the following. I have heard some SHGs that were manufactured as early as 1992 
which are often referred to as the first generation since they did not have a reflector behind the strobe tube. With the series being introduced in 1994, does this make that model a precursor to the SHG? I received another reply from the same customer support specialist stating that he had spoken to some people that had been with Gentex for quite some time and that they believed that the SHG was introduced in 1994. However, quote, we do not have any documentation that states the exact year, close quote. At the risk of sounding crass, I would estimate that the series was introduced in 1992. However, again, I could be entirely incorrect. Until someone with a proven older model can come forth, we have established that it is highly likely that the Gentex SHG was released in 1992. I sincerely appreciate the time that Gentex took to address my questions and provide me with the installation manual for this device. The input for this research project has been paramount in this video's production. In conclusion, the Gentex SHG has a storied past that is impacted by the evolution of our national fire code. From this seemingly average 1990s series of alarms, we can learn a great deal about the ever-changing world of fire protection. I would like to personally thank the following people for contributing to the research of this video. Fire Alarm Guy 13, the Blue CFL, and the Gentex Corporation. Thank you for watching this rather unusual video for my channel. I truly hope that you enjoyed learning about the history of one of the most unique lines of fire alarm devices just as much as I have. Stop.